but I'm going to give you physics exam number four and there will be only two problem horizontal motion problem and particle motion problem drives from homes to work let's say Mr. Barry drives from this is Mr. Barry's home this is Mr. Barry's work and this is 120 mile 20 mile apart so he drives from here to here 40 mile per hour and he immediately turn around and go back with 60 mile per hour draw draw dtvt and at graph for this problem this is my home this is my work after i arrive at work i immediately return to home i immediately return home so from home to work i was moving 40 mile per hour and from work to home i was moving 60 mile per hour all right i wanted to find the average speed okay so let's find the average speed to find the average speed to find the average speed is uh, average speed is distance over time so you have two type of distance you have the black distance and the green distance so we're going to say speed is d1 plus d2 over t1 plus t2 the d2 and t2 is supposed to be green okay but bear with me d1 is equal to d2 is equal to d so we're going to say 2d is equal to t t1 is of course uh, t1 is of course d over v so d is 40 40 over uh, uh, d is d and 40 t2 is d over 60 so um, d over 40 plus d over 60 is going to be 120 5d over 120 so 5d over 120 so speed is uh, 2d times 120 over 5d dd cancel 5 goes to 24 so at speed is 48 mile per hour all right, that's the speed. Now we're gonna find dt, vt, at, and the other graphs. So number one, number two, this is number one. Number two, we're gonna find dt graph. Number three, we're gonna find displacement versus time graph. Number four, we're gonna find speed versus time graph number five we're going to find velocity versus time graph and there is no acceleration versus time graph because acceleration for the problem is zero of course all right so let's find the dt graph so for the black one from home to work is the dark let's make home to uh, home to work is the is the blue so home to work is the blue okay all right, so home to work is the blue. So T1 is the blue. Make, make it thinner. T, T1 is the So T1 is the blue and D1 is the blue. D1 is also the blue, okay? All right, so now distance. Uh, so this is gonna be this is going to be the, uh, the home to work and this is going to be the work to home okay and displacement all right so we're going to put the time over here the time is all right so the distance between home to work i use the home to work home to work home to work is 120 mile Uh, that's that's I know that's given all right so this is um, the distance right so this is at what time the t1 so t1 is uh, 120 over 40 so t1 is 120 over 40 is 3 uh, 120 over 60 is 2 so this is this is 3 and this is 5 this is fine okay all right so at three the distance is of course the 
120 at 5 the distance is 240 okay now let's do this one uh, okay so this is a little flat but this is steeper this is the green one is steeper okay so right here is 120 all right and right here is the time is the time is <coughs> the time is uh, 3 and the time is 5 okay all right so what is the total displacement total displacement is 0 what is the total distance travel total distance travel 240 <coughs> okay all right now we're going to do speed versus time all right so let's do speed versus time again we're going to do the blue and green all right so the blue you have uh, uh, green all right so not that much not that much okay so this is the area, area under oh this is a speed so a speed cannot be negative very nice so a speed all right so i'm going to do this and then this okay all right so let's shade it this is the area under the speed versus time graph this is area under velocity versus time graph this is area under velocity versus time graph okay so now let's put some point so this is 2 this is 5 this is 3 and this is 5 and this one is uh, speed this one is of course 40 and this one is 60 All right, now let's do the blue first uh, the blue is BH so BH plus the green is uh, I don't know also BH all right so the blue is uh, BH so what would be the B B would be uh, the blue is B would be base 3 height 40 plus base 2 height base 2 height 60 so 120 120 plus 120 240 okay good so the total distance is 140 okay now we're going to do velocity versus time graph All right, so velocity versus time graph would be what so velocity versus time graph so let's see so, so the the blue one is this and the green one is this okay so let's put some number blue one of course is uh, 40 and the green one of course is negative 16 and we know over here is over right here is we, we know over right here is the time is 3 and time is 5 over here so we're going to find the blue and then we're going to find the green all right so what is the blue let's see let's find the blue blue is bh so b is 3 and h is 40 so it seems like this is 120 let's see the green uh, the the area is a bh so base is 5 minus 3 2 height is negative 60 so this is negative 120 positive 120 negative 120 is 0 so area under the vt graph velocity versus time graph is 0 okay so what are we going to call it we're going to call it displacement what are we going to call it distance so the distance traveled 240 miles 
and displacement travel is zero mile. All right. An object from 45 meter above the ground. So you have to do the DTVT and AT graph for three locations at the end of first second, at the end of second second, and at the end of third second. One second, and then end of two second, end of three second, and end of um, okay. Now let's just start with zero second. Zero second, end of one second, end of one second, end of two second, end of three second. Okay. So now, then at zero second, of course, this is here, and uh, the distance at zero second, this is here, and the distance at end, end of one second is here, the distance at end of two second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it closer, one second over here, end of two second, I'm gonna have it over here, end of three second, I'm gonna have it over here. So the distance, how can we find the distance? Distance is, remember, distance is, what is the distance? Distance is VAT plus half at squared and the velocity is v i plus a t of course and the g for us would be I'm going to use 10 meter per second square for simplicity so we don't have to use the calculator of course. So now the distance travel the distance uh, the this one would be 5 meter at the end of one second and the this travels 5 meter at the end of 2 second it travels 20 meter and at the end of 3 second it travels 45 meters ok now let us let us talk about the velocity the velocity would be at the end of 1 second the velocity is 10 meter per second at the end of 2 second the velocity would be 20 meter per second at the end of 3 second the velocity would be 30 meter per second okay now let's find the acceleration what do we know about acceleration acceleration is uh, delta t delta um, acceleration is delta a, delta v over delta t okay so this one is zero so this is zero this is zero this is zero all right so delta v so 10 minus 0 divided by 1 is 10 so acceleration is 10 acceleration 20 minus 10 divided by 1 is 10 30 minus 20 divided by 1 is 10 so acceleration what what we learn from this problem uh, we learn we learn that the acceleration is constant the velocity is uh, increasing and then the distance is distance of, of course increase quadratically and the velocity increases linearly all right and of course the acceleration remain uh, constant it doesn't depend on the time now i want you to draw dtvt and at graph okay so let's do dtvt and at graph okay so we're going to do it uh, here on the corner dt so dt this would be uh, our dt this would be our vt and this would be our at okay so the dt would be the quadratic second degree polynomial uh, and the and the function would be p p of t would be uh, 5t squared because half times so this is 0 this is half times 10 t squared so 5t squared and then this one would be 10t and this one would be of course just 10. So, this would be dt, vt and at graph. 